Well, hello there and welcome to Travels with Jordy. If this is your first visit, my name is Peter Knowles and I live on this classic wooden motor cruiser in and around Victoria, British Columbia, along with the loving memory of my pup Jordy. All the while fixing it up and others for some pretty ambitious cruising someday. If that's the sort of thing that you might find interesting, please consider sticking around and subscribing. I'd love to have you. back to deck building. In fact, the deck dock thingy, whatever it is, I'm actually sitting on at this very moment. Anyway, let's jump in and get to it. Okay, so Jordy's out of the shed. Time to carry on with the dock building project, and I've upped my dock building game quite a bit. Let me show you. Well, there was this, but that just wasn't going to do it. Enter these. Now, these are pretty serious. These are kind of overkill for what I'm doing, and I get that. However, better than completely, well, shall we say underkill. So, now the problem is, because the dock has to tip up, it has to be able to swing through 90 degrees, and these did that pretty well. These do not swing through 90 degrees. Okay, so no problem. All I need to do is preset. That's the dock in the shed, and this is the ramp. Now the ramp, I'm gonna preset at 45 degrees downwards. So to swing the whole dock upwards 90 degrees, it swings 90 degrees and only ends up at 45 degrees to the vertical before the binding point. So that gives me a couple of advantages actually because I do have to build sort of a step in this area. This will allow me to spread the, um, the bolting force further down uh, onto the structure of the dock. Anyway, that's what I'm planning. Let's see how it comes together in practice. Okay, so just to familiarize yourself with what's going on here, this is the top inboard end of the dock against uh, the shed. And these are those extra bolting plates which I'm gonna take out now because I don't need them. So there's gonna be a step here somewhere so that you can step down and down because of course this is much lower than the dock in the shed. So what I imagined is that this would go on an angle, somewhere like that. Well, somewhere like that, I'm not quite sure. Well, you can see I'm kind of fighting with this plate here, this angle bracket, and well, this has been very useful, so I'm going to retain it. So what I think I'm gonna do is um, reuse this bolt hole for this big carriage bolt that's gonna go through there and set this in at 45 degrees. And I think that'll just set all my geometry up fairly nice. Now I just have to be able to put a big block in here of some sort to carry this other plate, which is not as important, but you know, seeing as we're overdoing it anyway, let's make sure we overdo it to the max. Okay, so the idea being this will add some structure. This will sit on there just like that. And uh, then I can also build a piece across here to pick this up and I'll add another one cheeking on the other side as soon as I take this thing out of there. I think, I think this is gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty strong. Whew, those are some screws. I want this to sit flat against this member, so I'm gonna to have to make a little relief uh, cut on the back side of this, about there and about there. Not fine jointry, but it'll do for what I'm doing here today. You know, I could improve on this. I'm not putting this bolt through there. I'm putting this bolt through there. 
which eases the structure I have to build up here a whole lot, allows me to put three bolts into the main part of the structure. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm glad I caught this now. <laughs> okay, so let's start to lay this up. I've made my other pieces and I've drilled the holes in them and if I can just line them up relatively well. Look, new toy. Woohoo, I'm tired of hauling great big clamps around. That's just the ticket. Now I'm gonna index these with the drill just to make sure it's all lined up and I'll just leave that right there. Throw another one of these sweet little clamps on it. Make sure I'm happy with the alignment there. Make sure I'm happy with the alignment here. Good enough for me. And throw a couple of screws in there to keep it. <gasps> Aren't they cute? Woohoo! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And now time for the fun. Okay, so easy, just put all the rest of these bolts in, except this one, there's a void here which would crush this apart. So I'm just gonna pound this in here and uh, cut it off afterwards. Okay, not overly elegant. Just gonna see what I can do about a slight misalignment here. That looks prettier. Haha, <laughs> three for four. Okay, so studying the geometry here a bit, I realized this little <clears throat> disaster, uh, I might have missed an opportunity here because if you remember, this is the top, this is the dock, and I mean the shed, I have to have a step about here, stepping down from here to here and then down onto the platform. So this could have been an opportunity to basically create some structure for that step. So. This is coming out. Not that this absolves my great sin here, but at least, uh, at least, uh, I don't know, I can feel that I've put it to good use. I don't need to tell you, this thing is getting heavy. All right, so there's that side done. Now, of course, it still needs all the decking and all kinds of stuff, but I kind of like to finish the shed side of it and actually get it hinged in place. And I'll put the decking down 
floating out there it'll be just fine and um, it'll also be lighter to handle it you're probably all wondering how it's going to get from here to there well that makes two of us or all of us Gotta rethink all this. Okay, so I'm gonna reimagine what we're gonna do here. Part of the problem is these carriage bowl heads, so I'll have to make a little relief on the back. Yep, 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 yep. Need some more stuff. Last time I was doing this for a little uh, cleat around the corner here. So that I could make myself fast. I don't know, about, about, about there. Okay, lots to figure out, lots to figure out. Um, mark here, and mark here. Six and a half, three and eight. Finest carpentry techniques only. Okay, so the first bracket goes right on here. All right, that's not going anywhere, at least for a little while. <laughs> I have to put this on here. I think I'll just let this flap in the wind for now, which will be perfectly suitable. It is hotter than I thought, and uh, I will boldly say that I don't burn, but I'm wondering if I might. Okay. And now this goes on here, but this time with bolts. Okie dokie. Don't drop this in the water, Peter. going to get that over there. So this is either going to work or it's going to be a horrible fail video. The freeboard is about 12-14 inches. I think you can see where this is going. 
Okay, so we'll just move you along a little bit, my little friend. A bit high, actually. All right then. Okay. Well, it's pretty close. Pretty close. I have a pin in my pocket. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now just so that you get to see the rest of it, I'll drag you around the other side. get the dinghy out back from under. I imagine I just stomp on it. Come on now. Of course I could always flood the dinghy. That seems a bit harsh. Whoa, there we go. Now, you're the first people to see the angle. It's a little high at the float end, but that's because the deck isn't on it yet. I think by the time the deck gets on that, we'll be in good shape. Whew. Now you notice another thing about it. It's tipped a little bit towards the inside. And I had an option there, make it parallel with the platform or skew it until so that it's, I, it's one of those, which ways do you go with this? Anyway. Is that fit again? Fit again. How are you? Have you been having a bath? You look a little wet, buddy boy. You look a little wet. it sunk. Feels like more than I was counting on. Maybe you might have to put another float in here. Okay, you can see as it all comes together, it sticks into the, um, the pool um, by about 14 inches, which is exactly by design. Um, those of you who've been following for quite a while will know that we're going to widen the side do decks, docks, whatever you call these things in the shed anyway. So that's going to work out quite well. And it had to be wide enough that uh, Lady Z and uh, Finnegan could pass by to get onto the deck to get onto the boat. Well, I'm going to bolt on the little safety wheel here uh, in anticipation of bringing Jordy back in. And uh, it's going to be a little snugger than it's ever been before. <laughs> All right, so I got Jordy back in the shed. I needed to do that because I needed to do some work out of the sun on Jordy for a little bit. But time to get some decking down on this uh, good looking dock we got going here.
<laughs> I love these. Okay, these are for the handrail. Gonna be bolted through all the way through the side rail. Should be pretty cool. Okay, so the first one's a bit complicated because it's down in, but I think I think I think it'll be okay. It'll be okay. And decking. Okay, here's a tip with laying decking. Okay, make sure when you put decking down, the end grain is a smile. Okay, what that means is when this starts to cup, it's gonna cup this way, which means it will then drain water in future. If you put it this way, when it starts to cup, it's gonna cup into a valley and it'll hold water in the future. So it's super simple. Smiles, always smiles. Another thing I do when I'm laying decking, when I first put it down, I only put one screw on each side because it is inevitably going to shrink. And if it shrinks, it could create splits at the end here. So wait a week or so out in the sun and uh, then put the other screws in. Uh, your carpenter's pencil is your universal measuring device. Hello there and welcome to the Travel of Jordy Beer of the Week. Coming to you this week from the newly, mostly constructed boarding platform for MV Zephyrus. Now I say for MV Zephyrus, it's largely for young Finnegan to get aboard on the swim grid. I think I've explained that to you. Let's jump straight to the beer because I could really use a nice cool beverage. This is from Nelson Brewing and it's their Bent Pole Northwest IPA. I'm um, looking forward to this. Well, this project went together a lot better than, well, I won't say better than I thought it would have, but certainly better than I feared it might have. Um, <laughs> getting it in place went a lot better than I thought it might have. Anyway, it's going to be super, super nice. Um, it's technically not quite long enough um, to board uh, Jordy uh, over the stern grid, uh, but it's perfect for his efforts. I'm, I'm just incompetent. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, that is perfect. A little bitter, but not too hoppy. A little floral, a little citrus. Wow, that is that is really good. That's really, really good. Mm. Okay, on to the paperwork. Last week's winner, well, during the week, midweek's winner of a Travel for Jordy t-shirt is James Watts. Congratulations, James Watts. You've won yourself a Travel for Jordy t-shirt. Get a hold of me, and I'll make sure we get that sent out to you. Not that much else going on, except I have a beautiful brand new Weber barbecue. I've wanted one of these for ages. Yes, I know it's not marine. I realize that, but... The people I know who have these and have them on boats, cast iron grill, really, really hot. They don't get all gungy and stiff. Anyway, I'm super, super pleased to have it. It was a gift off the Amazon wish list. Gonna be doing up some steaks in there. Um, and as it seems to be always the case, it came without any indication of who sent it. So please, 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 you very kind individual, whoever you are, let me know who you are so I can thank you properly, perhaps with a steak on the grill. Cheers, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is kind of neat. It's kind of like having an extra little place to sit. All right, all you need now is a Travels with Jordy word of the week. And the word of the week is going to be steak. Steak. Now think about it, it's not that hard. Steak, yes, it's a piece of meat. But if you object to that or just can't think of something, it's many meanings to the, you know, the sound of the word steak. It could be like, you know, the steak you drive through Dracula's heart. 
you'll figure something out. Cheers. See you next week. I can't wait for a steak. Uh, yeah.